Okay. Um, let's see, we're going to do our trainer. Okay, we'll carry on with some reading today. We're going to read part three. Okay, let's do some vocabulary. Uh, we often use these adjectives to describe attitude and opinion. Use one of them to say how each of the people in one to eight feels. Okay, so um, Tuan, can you read all of the words for me? And then I'm going to translate them. Mm. Uh, as oh. Can you hear that? <laughs> Sorry. Ashamed. Okay, ashamed. Let's go. Okay, ashamed is not nice. It's a it's not a good feeling. It's negative. Okay. Next word, knock. Uh, grateful. Over here. Cheerful. Ah. Uh, are we just um, reading our words for now? Okay, so we've got ashamed. Cheerful. Cheerful. Okay, I'm just going to look. Cheerful, that is a positive thing. It's happy. It's good to be cheerful. Okay, Tran, can you read our next word? Confident. Confident. Okay, confident is a happy word. It's a good word. Okay. Duan? Grateful. Grateful. Okay, grateful is also good. It's a happy word. It's positive. Okay. Uh, grateful, um, knock. Impressed. Over here, jealous. 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 Okay, it's not a nice, negative. Tran? impressed okay impressed is good if you're impressed that means you are you're happy you uh, you are proud okay to one patient patient okay patient is a good thing to be patient Okay, and the last one, knock. Upset. Upset, okay, it's not nice to be upset. It's an uh, negative. Okay, number one, Tran. Thanks very much for helping me. You are very kind. Which word is it? <clears throat> Do you know, Tran? No. Okay, you want to help her knock? Um, grateful. Grateful. Okay. Thanks for helping me. If someone is saying thanks, you are grateful. 
Okay, Tuan number two. I've been in a good mood all day. Mm, cheerful. Yes, very good. Knock on number three. Uh, confident. Okay, can you read it for me first? Uh, I have studied really hard, so I'm sure I will do well in tomorrow's test. Very good. Okay, Tran? Uh, it was silly of me to do that. I'm very sorry. Uh, I think it's a sin. Yes. Okay, number five. Tuan? Uh, I thought my team would win the cup, but they lost the final five. Uh, five zero. Five zero. Uh, I think is. Uh, upset. Yes, good. Okay. Oh, that's supposed to be a five. Let me. Okay, knock. I don't hear you, knock. I can't believe that the first time you skate, you did so well. Uh, impressed. Yes. Okay. Number seven, Tran. You can take as much time as you like. I will wait here for you. Okay. Is You can take as much time as you like. I'll wait here for you. If you're happy to wait, you are patient. It's patient. Okay. Number eight, then you can just read it for me, Tuan. Um... Is not fair. The boys got a much newer phone than me. Mm. And is Je jealous. Okay, good. Okay. Grammar. Um, ED and ING attitude and opinion adjectives. Okay, so we have to choose the correct one. Number one, knock, you can read for me. I was very interested in what that woman said about music. Okay, very good. Try number two. Mm, that was probably the most boring TV show I've heard, ever seen. Good. Tuan? Mm, I was disappointing that my friends couldn't go to the fair with me. I was disappointed. Okay, knock. The ending of that film was uh, really shocking. It keep me awake last night. Yes. Tran? I felt exhausted. 
after running oh. a long race. Good. Go on. I get annoyed with my little brother when he behaves like that. Good. Tran. Some of the awful things on the TV news make me feel a bit uh, depressing. Depressed. Okay, right, uh, one. Tuan? Mm, I think no. Stranger? Hmm? Mm, Stranger Things is one of the most exciting series on television. Very good. Okay. Now, some of these sentences are correct and some have mistakes. Correct the sentences that are wrong. Okay, Nock, you're going to do number one for me? Uh, some I of them, felt very... Some of them are correct, um, so you don't have to do anything. Okay, yes? I felt very tired after doing homework all evening. Very good. Okay, let's write it next to it. Um, okay, number two. Oh, sorry, uh, Tran. I think it's correct. Okay, I want you to read it for me first, please. Then you can tell me. It was a very frightening book, but frightening. I read. Oh, fright! Sorry. Uh, it was a very frightened book. Frightened book. Can a book but be frightened? Read... No. Uh, but I read it all and I enjoy it. Can a book be frightened? No. A book is frightening. Frightening. Okay. Okay, good. Number three, uh, Tuan. After uh, Thomas explained the rules of the game, but we were still a bit confused. I think it's true. It's correct, yes. Well done. Okay. Number four, knock. After a week at school, I just want to stay at home and feel relaxed. Okay. After a week at school, I just want to stay at home and feel relaxed. Very good. Okay. Okay, next one. Tuan, number five. Sorry, Tran. There are some really excited rides at the summer fair. There are. Uh, Can the rides be excited? Oh, exciting. Yes. Okay. Go on. Number six. Mm, I'm a bit worried about my friend, mm, Lacey. She, she hasn't phoned. Good. Knock. Something really embarrassing happened to me yesterday. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. I think it's correct. It is correct. Very good. 
Okay, last one, Tran. I was very surprising when I saw that famous singer in our street. I think it's surprising. What is surprising? What does it change to? Is surprised. Yes, very good. I was very surprised. Okay. Okay, good. Number four, identifying keywords in exam questions. Look at these typical part three questions and unfinished statements. Underline the keywords in each. Okay, let's have a look. Tuan, you're going to do number one for me. You can read the sentence and tell me what the keywords are. Mm, what does the writer like most about playing the trumpet? Uh, the writer like most. Okay, uh, okay the writer, but Okay, like most. And? Mm, playing the trumpet. Okay, you can just look for trumpet. Good. Uh, Nog, number two. The writer felt nervous when he answered the phone because uh, the keywords are writer, nervous, Answer the phone. Okay, you can just look for phone. That's perfect. Because... Okay, you well when you find these keywords, you will see why. Okay, good. Tran number three. Uh, how did Emma feel about going to a new school? Uh, the keywords. Uh, Emma. And my feel. Yes, okay. And? New school. Good. Well done. Okay, tour number four. Hmm. Francesca. Francesca? Hmm. Was bored during the train journey because? Uh, Francesca? Francesca bought, borrowed a train journey because. Okay, good. Knock, number five. Why did the writer decide to get a new bike? Uh, why? A writer a new buy yes perfect Tran, last one number six uh is lion i want you to read the whole sentence for me first please according to lion the main difference liam 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 the main difference between badminton and tennis is. Okay, uh, good. So we've got Liam. Yeah. Mm. Main, main difference. Yes, main difference. Okay. Badminton, tennis is. Very good. Badminton and tennis. Okay, well done. You all did very well in that. Let's move on. Okay, answering multiple questions, multiple choice questions in your own words. Quickly read this paragraph and answer these questions. Okay. Um, you're going to read up to there, Tuan. Uh, let's see, wait. Okay, Tuan, Nock, and Tran. Mm, 
On my first day at the snowboarding school, I was in a beginner's group of 12. Although, although some were clearly advanced beginners. Before the instructor arrived, they start showing started, the rest of started, us. Started, started, started showing the rest of us the cool things that are they could do. Quick I think annoyed some in the group. Though I didn't mind, I want to learn to snowboard well and I felt sure that if I watch others, listen it to the instructor and listen listen to the instructor and keep practicing, I would in the end achieve that. Good. Trend. Previously, I don't know. Previously, I did what it watched a snowboarding watched snowboarding competitions and i just wondered whether it really good could be as much as fun as it looked and by the end the end of that week i was starting to find that it was it was also a bit less tiring than i expected Okay, good. Let's look at these questions. Tua, number one. Mm, what kind of text is it? What kind of text is it? Is it a, an, a, do you think it's a diary entry? Do you think it's a newspaper article? Do you think it's a newsletter? What kind of things do you, what kind of text do you think it is? Mm, uh, an article. Do you think it's an article? Because someone's talking about on my first day. Where would you write something like that, Nock? Uh, I think it is a diary. Yes, I think so. Okay, Tuan. He writes about his first day of snowboarding. Do you agree? Do you think it would be in a diary? Yes. Yes, okay. Uh, Nock, question number two. Uh, what is it about? Um, it uh, is about uh, the writer first day at the snowboarding school. Okay, and uh, does he talk about other people? Does he only talk about himself? Uh, Mostly? Okay, he does, he talks about the other people in the first sentence, but he mostly talks about himself yes yes okay Tran, question number three how does the speaker feel the speaker is a uh, was a bit less tiring uh okay you felt he it was less tiring than what he had expected does he feel happy about it or does he not want to go again? Uh, see, um, the speaker don't want to go again. He does want to go again. Look, um, I'd watched snowboarding competitions and wondered whether it really could be as much fun as it looked. And by the end of that week, I was starting to find that it was. It was fun. It was also less tiring than I'd expected. He thought he was going to be very tired. Yes. Do you think he wants to go back again? Do you think he had a good time? 
Do you think he's happy? He said it was a lot of fun and he did not get so tired. Tired. He's tired. He is not as tired as what he thought he would be. Okay, let me. Yes. Okay. Okay. So how does he feel? Is he happy about his lesson? Yes. Yes, he is. Okay, he's going to go back again. Now we need to look at this question. Tuan, are you there? Yes. Yes. Okay. Look at this question, underline the keywords and read the paragraph above more carefully to try and answer the question in your own words. Tuan, can you read the question for me? How did the writer feel, feel when he first went snowboarding? Okay, so now we need to look more carefully. When he first went snowboarding, how did he feel? So then you have to look at the top of the paragraph. Uh, was he annoyed like the rest of the group yes read the sentence i think uh, uh, okay the rest uh, of us the cool things they could do which i think the rest of us the cool things they could do, which I think annoyed some in the world, thought I don't mind, I didn't mind. So if he didn't mind, was he annoyed? Mm. If you don't mind, it means you're not annoyed. Okay, there's no translation. If it, if you if you don't mind something or if he didn't mind, it means he's not annoyed. He's okay with it. Okay. So if you ask, how did he feel when he first went snowboarding? Was he annoyed? Was he excited? Was he okay? Mm, he felt okay. He felt okay with it. He didn't mind. Okay. Good. Now, look at options A B, and A, B, C, and D, which best matches your answer in exercise six. Um, uh, A? Here you can look a bit less tiring. Uh, B? Okay, B is correct. Okay, he really enjoyed it in the end. It was better than he expected. It was a lot more fun. Okay, so if you look at the other answers, they're all negatives. Exhausted after doing so much hard exercise. That is not it because he said it's less tiring. Disappointed that it was not an exciting sport to do. That is not it because he had a lot of fun. Angry with some of the learners in his group. He was not angry. He didn't mind. Okay. You understand, Tran? Are you happy? Yes. Okay. Now we're going to read. Okay, it's quite a long one, and then we will answer the questions. Um, Tran, you're going to start reading for me. You can read up to up to there. 
Uh, Lily Carter had no idea that what present she wanted for her 14th birthday, but she'd always been keen on challenging sport, especially to do with water, like surfing and sailing. So when her parents heard about an activity called coastering, exploring rocks along the coast, the coast yeah. by the coast, a coast by climbing and swimming. They thought Lily would love it. They found a course of fur at an activity center called Fort Dean, just along the coast from, from the family home, which was perfect. So after taking it was led by experience, experience, experienced experience, instructors. Experience instructor they signed her up lily had seen a tv show about cost cost sharing and was interested in doing it although she did hot only adults could take part very good Tran. okay to on you're going to read for me um let me just see here. Okay, you can read up to there. I don't hear you. Uh, but then she discovered that on um, courses? courses at Path Dean, there would also be people her age jumping from rocks into the sea and also exploring caves, which she was never normally allowed to do. She, so she really wanted to go, but she still asked her dad to go along too. And although he wondered, hmm, Although he wondered whether, whether he'd like coastering himself, he knew how much Lily wanted someone to accommodate with, accommodate her. So he company. agreed. Accompany Lily her. Accompany her. So he agreed. Lily and her dad drove to Port Dean where they attended a season, a with, session. Their season with their instructors to learn basic safety and techniques techniques and, techniques and be given helmets and special special wetsuits to keep to coach out. The group they joined was quite small, which means they got lots of indiv individual individual attention. Very good. Okay. Knock to the end. Says Lily, the entire trip was a awesome. Although awesome. the water was freezing, awesome. but our instructors encouraged the whole group the whole so much. The whole group so much. We, uh, we were ready to try absolutely all the challenges, even stuff we hadn't expected at all, like jumping of a high cliff i must admit the one i jumped off wasn't that high 
but that went much higher. Higher. Anyway, Dad and I hadn't realized how hard it would be physically, so we were gl uh, glad we were fit. Explain Lily. Even so, afterward, we actually felt like we had done lots of hard exercise in the gym. But I will keep the memories of that trip forever. I reckon. And the instructors are going to put a video of it onto the website so my friends will see it. They would never believe me otherwise. Okay, good. Let's go. Is there any 